Good morning. As promised, I am going to be talking today about the new LA Colors Metal Eye Pencils. They are $1.50 at Family Dollar and they're only in stores right now. Uh, they're not on the Family Dollar website to purchase. You can look at the shades though on their website if you want to. Uh, did I tell you how many shades they were? <laughs> there are six shades. I don't have all six but I will show you what I do have. The one that I had on yesterday in my Shop Miss A video was the Cosmos, which is this beautiful lilac type shade. I had that on underneath that pigment or those pigments that I was wearing. So that was my base in that video. Let me do a swatch. I'm gonna swatch all these for you. Okay, so these have a metallic finish. They do have a regular line of um, jumbo pencils that still exist, but these are the new metallic ones. So that's Cosmos. And then I picked up the shade Starlight. Starlight, it was a surprise. I thought this was just gonna be a metallic white. Oh no, oh no. It is not. When you swatch this, it swatches um, multiple colors. Light pink is the predominant shade though, I would say. But there are there are more there is more than one shade in there, but pink is the strongest one. But yeah, so th that's not white. So big surprise there. And that leads me to the next one, which is called Supernova. And this is, um, I guess you'd say this is a beige. like a champagne or a beige. And then I have Atomic, which is a mm, rose. I'm going to go with rose, but it's like a, a bronzy rose. Rosy brown? Well, that's the shade anyway. Now, there is also a teal or a turquoise. That slot was empty. And to be honest with you, I wasn't heartbroken because I just got that Rimmel one at Dollar Tree last weekend, I think it was. So I already have a cream eyeshadow stick in that shade, so don't really need to. And then there was also a black, and I passed on that because I thought, you know what would be more practical than a metallic shimmery black would be a matte black. So I got the matte black from their original line, which is called Sunglasses, and I bought this instead. I just thought that would be a more practical buy than the metallic black one. I thought I would get a lot more use out of that. So I opted to go with that. So that's what the six shades are. So there's a metallic shimmery black and then there's the turquoise teal one. So I'm going to do a look with you today showing you how you can use these to do a look. And before I do that, though, I just want to mention that these products are so versatile. They can be used as a colored base under other eyeshadows. They can be used by themselves. They can be used as an eyeliner. And if you have... I always take the phone off the hook before I start filming for that reason, because the phone's constantly ringing. Um, anyways, so 
yes, I was going to start talking about the formula on these. If you've ever used a jumbo eye pencil by another brand, um, then you may be thinking to yourself, oh, I can't use things like that because they crease on me. These are different. These are a different kind of formula. They don't crease. I had the purple one on all day yesterday and I had no issues with creasing or moving or anything like that and I have had that problem with other brands. So no, no worries with that. Okay, so let's start the look. I'm going to start with that LA Colors contour stick in the shade highlighter that I showed you in our video a couple of days ago because this is like a nice um, light champagne gold shade. So I'm just going to put some of that on my brow bone highlight. This is very subtle but that's okay. The only reason why I'm doing this is just so that it won't be bare skin there. And I don't want to use the white one because, um, or the pinky one, it won't go with the other colors that I'm going to use. Okay, so that's very light, very subtle, but you just want a little something there. Okay, I'm going to start with the shade called Supernova, and this is the one that's sort of a light champagne beige color. And the way that I would advise that you use this is because it is a drier formula, the easiest way to apply it is to use the warmth from your body to heat this up and almost like melt it a little bit. I'm going to just run this over the tip of my index finger and just keep doing small circles. And then I'm going to apply it on my lid. Now the reason why I'm doing it that way is if I apply it directly to my lid it's going to be a lot more difficult to blend. But because this is a drier formula it's so nice that it isn't going to go anywhere. You know you don't have to have issues with that. Okay so this is just going to give you like a nice light champagne wash with a metallic finish. So I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Atomic, which is that brownish rose color. It's kind of a hard color to describe. It's like a, a pinky rosy shade. This one I am going to go directly on the skin because I need to use a little bit more precision because I'm going to put this in the crease and you can if you really don't want to put it on your finger you can go directly on the skin obviously I am doing that but it's just going to melt it and blend it faster if you use your finger So because I'm using the crease here, I need a little bit more precision. Now I'm going to take a brush, if I can find, it was right in front of me. It's in my hand. Oh, wow. <laughs> it, okay, this is a, um, a Wet n Wild Pro crease brush. It's P15 anyway. Love their Pro brush line. This is the only one I have. I definitely would like to get more at some point. Okay, so I've got that darker shade in the crease. And then I'm just blending it out with the brush. Okay, now that's a little too subtle for my taste. 
So what we're going to do to kind of spice it up a little bit is we're going to use one of the new LA Colors Iced Pigment Powders. I bought a couple more shades. This is in the shade Glowing. And what I do with this, this is sort of a bronzy shade. And I thought this would pair really well with these colors. So what I do is I just take some and I knock some into the cover. And then I take a fluffy brush. This is a um, Wet n Wild blending brush, I think it's called. It doesn't have any names or numbers on it, but the white handle one. And I swirl my brush inside the cap where the pigment is, and then I sort of do like a tap tap motion so that I'm picking up the pigment on the end of the brush. And then I'm gonna brush that on top of my lid so that I'm gonna get a combination of the pencil and the pigment. And this is metallic finish, so aren't the pencils. And then I'm just gonna pick up whatever is left So see, that's going to give it a little more oomph. <laughs> and tap some more. And do the other side. Oh, I forgot to mention that I started with an eyeshadow primer before I applied the pencils. I just didn't do it on camera. But yeah, start with an eyeshadow primer just like you would with any other eyeshadow look. Because the eyeshadow primer and the metallic pencils are going to give this pigment something to hold on to. Um, if you don't do that, you could end up with some fallout. And I'm looking, I don't see any fallout because I have two layers of product that have some moisture to them, so the pigment is going to adhere to that. Okay, so I think with the bold red lip, you know, you don't want to go too, too crazy on the eyes. The next thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try the jumbo eye pencil and sunglasses that I bought from the original line. I'm going to try using this as an eyeliner. Never done that before with any of these jumbo eye pencils. Um, no, I guess, no, maybe I have, but I haven't used this one yet, so I'm gonna try using this as an eyeliner. So I'm just trying to be very careful how much I put on. And where I put it on. Okay, now I'm gonna try tight lining with this. I'm not sure, you know, whether this is gonna be irritating or not. I don't know, but I'm gonna try it. Because where this is a nice matte black, it's just so easy to slide this along. Wow, that was really, really smooth and very easy to use that way. 
Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to use CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This is like a trial size or travel size. I've seen this at a couple different stores now. Sometimes I think you're better off buying these smaller mascaras because where you're supposed to replace your mascara every three months so because it's not gonna be around very long it doesn't almost doesn't even seem worth it to buy a full-size one Okay, so that is the finished look. Now, you can get a more powerful look if you apply more pigment, but I sort of wanted to play down the eyes where I was doing the bright red lip, so you could do a stronger eye look and then go with a nude lip or, you know, whatever, customize it to the way that you want to do it. But, um, yeah, as you can see, it's... Uh, pretty wearable look the way I have it now very subtle but I like these pencils and they do come in a wide variety of colors and um, the purple one really gave my purple pigment yesterday a lot more punch than it would have if I had tried to use it on its own so that was really handy to have so that's it you guys that's my review for the LA colors metal eye pencils and it's a long holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend, so I hope you all have a great holiday weekend, but a safe one. And I'll probably, hopefully, see you all on Tuesday then. Bye. Thanks for watching.